Hello, my name is Brent Miller, and today we're going to talk about how to replace the float valve in the back of a household toilet. Well, this is a new float valve that I purchased at a hardware store, and they cost about $10. And uh, they need to be replaced about every 10 to 15 years because they wear out. But the very first thing you need to do is you need to shut off the water to the toilet. And you shut off the supply line. It's usually on the back left near the floor. Uh, of the toilet and you'll need to shut that water off and then remove the supply line up just above that and you'll need to pull that off. And then the next thing you need to do after you got the water shut off is you need to flush the toilet. And that gets out about 95% of the water that's in the water closet which is the bowl on the back of the toilet. And once you get 95% out then you can take a towel or a wash rag or something and daub out the rest of it and that should uh, remove the water and you got a good clean place to work. Then what you do, uh, you'll have your float valve here and then you will have a small tube that comes out from right here and sticks into the overflow valve and you need to remove that. And then next of all you would need, this is from underneath, you'll need to remove this uh, nut right here and uh, it come off. And then with the, just a little gently you grab it from the top with a little gentle tug and sometimes you got to move it back and forth but do it just very gently because this is plastic parts and likely the one you already have is plastic. So just a little bit of tug and then it should come right up out of there. And then sometimes there will be a little bit of residual water left in there and you might get a drip or two on the floor but you could put a little bowl under there to catch that or a little towel. It shouldn't be very much water. And then you get the new one and you take this new one and then you put this seal, it has a seal right here, and it would slide all the way up to the top. And then you put it down into the, uh, the water closet. And then from underneath, you will want to stick on this nut. And then once you get this nut in place and you tighten it, usually hand tight is all it takes. And then you would want to put this tube back on and put it back into the overflow tube. And there can be adjustments made right here and you can just do this. And this is the linkage and it controls how much water actually goes in in the event you have a little bit of extra water going into the water closet and it's overflowing and it would cause your commode to run and it would waste a little bit of water. And typically how you determine how much it is, you let it go nearly to the top of the overflow tube and you'll be able to see that. And then uh, you flush the toilet and if it flushes fine, then, then you're good. 